Yo, what is up guys? So for today, I'm bringing you Destiny 2. Now, um, I do apologize if I haven't been posting as much recently, but I ended up getting a new job and I have to pay some bills first and foremost. But after that, after we pay all our all the shit that we owe, I'm actually going to be able to not, not work and do YouTube full time. So that's really cool. So obviously we're in Destiny 2. You guys are probably like, what are you going to talk about, Tony, since you're super bored of the game? I actually am. Aside from doing the weeklies for my Bright Dust, I really don't get on too much. I'm not farming too much. I got a lot of God Rolls already, but that's what I want to talk about today. So speaking of God Rolls, we have a lot of things we could talk about right now. So if you guys don't know, the Imperium Foundation came out a few days ago and it's probably the coolest thing in this season because of the amount of god rolls you can fucking get so what am i talking about so let's go to the sundial real quick now if you guys haven't done this it doesn't matter i don't really care about donating or not donating do whatever the fuck you want don't let anyone fucking judge you i've donated 2400 but i have you guys obviously my resonance power it's 7700 I've actually raised my Tangled Shore up to 42. Now, you could buy these. This, that's what I've been doing. These are really cool, especially if you go to the Spider and he's selling something for Glimmer that you have a fuck ton of. By all means, go ham. But unfortunately, he's selling something that I don't have much of, so I'm not going to be doing as much uh, today. But hopefully in the reset that's coming, I can actually get more of this. But... What are, you, what are you talking about, Tony? What about the God Rolls? All right, this is this is what gets really cool. So let's say you want a God Roll of Perfect Paradox, Trophy Hunter, literally anything, because it works on all of these. Actually, I'm going to get this. Then let's do this, because I need one of these. Let's do this one. Gal or no, I already have light in the sand. Uh, let's do gallant charge because why the fuck not? I don't have an infinite paths yet, so let's do that one. So that's it. That's all I can get. Now, all you have to do is donate four uh, polarized fractaline, and that equates to a hundred percent of progress for the bounties. So for each that you come eat for each Imperium do donation that you donate, it gives you 25% towards any of the bounties. And as you can see, I already completed all of them. So what you're essentially doing is not only are you farming God rolls, but you're also getting legendary shards and you're getting experience. So this is awesome. I fucking love this because now I can just do this real quick. So this is the only one. Slide shot, rampage, slide shot, swashbuckler with accurized rounds, and oof, and barrel shot with a reload. See, I actually do like this. I don't, I don't really like damage perks on shotguns, but this is actually a pretty cool roll. So I will uh, scoop that up later. But as you guys can see, I ended up getting stuff and purple weapon with slideways, eh, whatever. Does have a what you call it? Hit fire, which immediately is garbage for me. But as you guys can see, I this is all I've been doing for the past, I don't know how long now. Like, I'm literally just doing this because why would you not fucking do this? Look at this. You guys want something, immediately farm for it. It's amazing. Like I said, if you guys don't, because let's be real, you're not going to get your first legendary or your first uh, god roll. So you're going to be eight. Just from like two guns, I got eight. Let's do this one too. So... It's, it's such a good farm, guys. And the reason I'm telling you is because not a lot of people know this. It's really weird. People don't know that you can do this. This is why I've been. This is why I have almost 2,800 uh, fractaline donated because that's all I've been doing. Now, the only negative thing is that you will need a lot of glimmer because these cost 3,000. Especially if you're doing the perfect paradox. For some reason, the perfect paradox you can do like seven bounties. So I'm not going to do math. I'll probably have it on the screen. But that's a lot of bright dust. So like I said, if you have a lot of material that uh, spider's selling for bright dust, th this is an amazing farm. But let's say... Let's say for for some un unknown reason, you're barely at like a, like uh, 53 
on the season pass that's that's fine do this and you're gonna level up now granted you are gonna need fractal line but that's not really an issue when all you need to donate is like what a hundred yeah a hundred these right here give you a hundred not only that i keep logging out of that but i don't know why but you can also do these consumables which if i remember correctly this one does not matter but this one drastically increases the chance to earn polarized fractaline from playlist activities so let's say you're trying to you know play some some crucible gambit or strikes just do that you could also do You could also do the sundial for fractaline i wouldn't say do this because it's too slow i mean you can farm the god rolls for fucking sure but you won't be getting as much experience as you will doing this so i think the great part is like me personally i will for sure be increasing my sundial links but the best thing i'm going to be doing is waiting until next week until i get i can get the resonance power so i can just keep doing this over and over because like i said let's say you for some unknown reason need experience like let's say this is a good example let's say you you really want this eververse ornament right here the gothic horror i actually don't have this i would like to have it i mean i'm not gonna kill myself over it but I actually did want the forest ranger which i already have unfortunately or fortunately and rockets like let's say you had you don't have any of these and you really want that black plague well now you have a great opportunity to level up your season pass because if you guys don't know these drop every five levels so this is gonna be a great way to get experience a great way it's effortless you literally you just have to get the bounty turn in the fractal line that's it it's so effortless guys this is such a great experience farm now i like i said it is going to be annoying because of the fractal line but like i said before there's there's many avenues for you to get fractal line it's really not that hard it's just a little tedious if you have three characters that's two four really six eight eight hundred That's 2,400 Fractaline that you could get if you did all of these. I'm not going to do that because I fucking hate these bounties. But it's an option. It's there. So, guys. Oh, man. Like, I love this farm. Unfortunately, I have a lot of God Rolls already. I have a, a God Roll for the Line in the Sand. Uh, I got Marty's Retribution. The quote-unquote God Roll, if I remember correctly. Uh, Gallant Charge, I really don't give a fuck. But I'm probably going to go for it. Patron of Lost Cause, I already have it. The only one I don't have is Perfect Paradox and maybe Trophy Hunter. I, this is a rocket launcher. It doesn't really... I don't care. Breach Light and Steel Feather Repeater are the like the only ones where I'm like, I could get better rolls, especially for the Steel Feather, if I remember correctly. I do have a pretty good roll on it. But other than that, that's pretty much the video, guys. Like, really, honestly, just do this a bunch. Get that level up for whatever fucking reason you need. Let me see real quick. Oh, yeah. I would have loved to get a range and then a range here. So, I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm going to say, I'm going to like keep talking so it can get past the 10 minute mark because I don't know reasons. But this is probably going to be the best farm you can do right now. It's so effortless. And I, I know I've said that already. But if you ask me tony what's a really good god roll that i need to get right now i would say line in the sand it, it, it's it's such a good gun look at this i ended up getting one with small bore with ionized battery rapid hit and firing line now i did not get the range master work which would have been dope but i did get reload so that's the best thing for me and this shit slaps bro i'm not even fucking around like i love it the rapid hit on a linear fusion rifle with firing line it if this does more damage like if linear fusion rifles do more damage in the future this is gonna slap hard like i'm i'm not even fucking around guys like this get it don't even don't even like think about it get it you're gonna thank me later if you could get rapid hit firing line that's the god roll but obviously if you, if you could get something with rapid hit firing line 
anything other than this, I would probably say accelerated coils, I think it's called, if it drops with that. And then anything better than small bore, you can get that increase in range even more. Obviously, a range masterwork would be dope. And boss spec with it, it's gonna destroy. I fucking love it. Is it the best D DPS in the game? Obviously not. It's not. It really isn't. But if you don't wanna, if you don't have like a love and death like my I do, where it's full core and and spike grenades, or anything with spike grenades in general, this is honestly, it's not. It's not a, like a shitty choice. It's obvi obviously it's the, one of the best choices you could do, but. Breach Light is amazing. Steel Feather Repeater is amazing. I would say Perfect Paradox, but I mean, uh, I really don't care, to be honest with you. Gallant Charge, like I said in my video where I talked about all these weapons, I don't really care about Gallant Charge. I'm probably going to farm it just so people aren't like, no, you didn't farm everything. And then Patron of Lost Cause, I already have the God Roll, which is rapid hit with explosive payload. And I think I have Small War on it and uh, Range Master Rick, if I remember correctly. So. I, I I farmed a lot this season, but it just, I don't feel like it was worth it. But with that being said, with this farm, it makes it so much more like worth it in my opinion, because now all I got to do is get the bounties, donate, and then that's it. it. You don't even have to move from here, bro. So thank you for coming. I know I did... I know I talked about a lot of dumb shit at the end. Thank you for anyone who's still here. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. I will be start posting my Instagram and my TikTok and everything. I'm going to start posting more on those platforms because I like doing that type of videos where it's like more more montage-ish. More montage-ish. And honestly, it would be awesome if you guys can follow me. Uh, other than that, like the video, comment, subscribe. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. And under that, I will see you guys later.